we are ready to work on Excel Module 2, SAM Project A. So I'm here in Blackboard. Click to launch. I'm going to hit my Start button here. I'm going to download my instructions and also my starter file. So my instructions opened up on my other monitor, and here's my starter file. First thing we need to do is enable editing. And we're going to save this. So we're going to go to File, do a Save As. I'm going to find my folder for my Excel information and I'm going to change the back numbers. I'm going to get rid of these ones and I'm going to make it a 2. I'm going to hit save. The next thing I need to do is make sure that my name is the one that is listed on the documentation sheet. If you do not see your name here, then you need to download it again. Make sure you're in your uh, Blackboard class. So now we're ready to start going on uh, with changes to our worksheet. We've been asked to format the workbook to make information clear and easier to understand. So we're going to go to the bin worksheet right here. The first thing we're going to do is change the name of the worksheet tab to bin list. So I can double click on the information down here and make it bin list. And I just click back up in the worksheet and I've changed my tab name. We're going to bottom align the contents of the range C3 to C13 to match the alignment of the other cells on the worksheet. So we're going to take C3 to C13, and right up here on our alignment tab, we're going to choose the bottom align so they all look the same. Now we're going to make, do some formatting. We're going to apply outside borders to the range A1 to C13. So I'm going to click A1, go down to C13. I'm going to come up here to my borders box and make it outside borders. I'm going to change the border color. So I'm going to click on this border box. I'm going to come clear down to the bottom. And I'm going to change the line color to blue gray accent three there's blue gay let's see there's one That's blue gray accent five. I want blue gray accent three. There we go. Blue gray accent three. So I change my border colors. I'm going to just draw it on here. And that's a really stupid way to do it. So now we're going to format our list of bins and uh, emphasize some of the information to put, put it together. So we're going to apply, apply outside, outside borders to the range A1 to C13. And they want us to change the color. So I'm going to click up here on my borders box. I'm going to come clear down to the bottom, more borders. I want outside borders, but I want to change the color to 
blue gray accent three. So we just want to change that color on the borders there. And I'm going to say okay. Now I'm going to apply the short date number format to cell B15. So I come here to B15. I'm going to come up here to where it says the date and click on this little down arrow. And I'm going to change that to short date. I'm going to go to my page layout view. I want to add a header. So it's a little different in Excel than it was in Word. I'm going to go to page layout and I want to go to view, sorry. I'm at the page layout view. And now I can see the headers. Okay. You don't see the headers when you're in the normal view, only in the page layout view. We want to add warehouse bins to the center section. Oh, sorry. But I click on my undo button to put that date back in there. Here's your undo and redo. They can be your friends. I click on the header area and type in warehouse bins. So when we print it, that's what we'll print. Now we're going to go to the inventory list. You can see inventory list, we're in normal view, so we don't see any headers or anything in here. So in our inventory list, we want to make it stand out. We're going to format the worksheet title, so we're going to click in A1. That's our worksheet title. We're going to change the font to Calibri Light. So we're going to here to font, make it Calibri Light, font size 20. And Calibri Light didn't stay up there. So Calibri Light 20, font size font. We're going to change the font color. So we're going to go to this little A here. And we're going to change it to indigo text 2. And we're going to bold. And then we're going to merge and center the title from A1 to AI or I1. We're going to merge and center. We're going to auto fit column B. So I'm going to take move my insertion point in between B and C and double click. See all of our information in here now. And we want to find any duplicate entries and then delete them. So we're going to take the range A5. to A16, and we're going to go to Conditional Formatting, and we're going to go to Highlight Cells Rules, and we're going to come down here to Duplicate Values. Now you can see if we had a big, huge worksheet, how this would really come in handy. We're going to click on Duplicate Values. We want to highlight them with a light red and dark red text. Say OK. So we've got wiper blades twice here. And we want to delete the second duplicate value. So I'm going to put my mouse over by row 15 until it shows that arrow. Then I'm going to right click and I'm going to delete. And it's going to delete that entire row. So it takes out our duplicate value. We want to keep a running count of our items in inventory. So in B3, so B3, we want to use a counta function to count the values in range B5 to B15. 
so we can determine the number of items we actually have in inventory. So to do that, we're going to go to the formula tab and think see which one, I don't remember which one the counter function is in. It's in the statistical. So in the formula tab, go to more functions, statistical, and there's more than one way to find this. This is the way that I find the easiest. We're going to go to counter, and now what do we want to count? We want to count B5 colon B15. So we want to count the range from B5 to B15. And we're going to click OK. So we know we have 11 items in inventory because it counted that for us. We want to display the entire text in cell F4 but format it so it requires less horizontal space. So we're going to make the width column F to 9.00. So there's a couple different ways you can do it. My favorite way is just to move my mouse up between the F and the G column. Click with my left mouse button and you can see it lets me know that my width is 7.29 or 56 pixels. We want to change that to 9, so I'm just going to move my mouse where it says none. Then we want to wrap the contents of F4. So right here, F4. We want to do a wrap text so they display the text on two lines in that row because you can see we can, can't read the whole thing. So on our home tab, we're going to click wrap text. And it's just going to wrap it. So it displays the text on two lines so we can read all of it. Number 11, we want to apply shading to the range A2 to B3. So we're going to go to A2 and B3. And we're going to shade it with aqua accent for lighter 60%. So we're going to come up here to our paint can. And we want ox, aqua accent for lighter 60%. That we would just want that to stand out from the rest of our worksheet. We want to format the values in A3. Want to format the value of a dollar amount, we're going to decrease the number of decimal places in A3 to 2. So we've got A3, you can see we have three decimal places, we only need two. So we're going to come up here to decrease decimal, click on it one time to make that two decimal places. We're going to go to range A2 to B3. Oh, I just did that, sorry. Um, go to number 13. Apply the accent three cell style to the range A4 to I4. So we're going to come up here first. We've got to select the range A4, scroll down to I4, and we want this to be accent three. So we're going to come up here in our styles, click on a little arrow to show everything. And we want this to be accent three. And we also want to take that cell style to E16 to E18. So E16 to E18. And we want to also make that accent three. We want to apply the accounting number format to the range G5 to H15 to show that the values are dollar amounts. So we're going to go to G5 
down to G15. You can see they just have the headings cost. These are just numbers. We want to apply the accounting number format. So we're going to come right up here to this dollar sign. That's the accounting number format. It's going to add the dollar sign and two decimal places for us. And then we're going to go to H5 to H15. And we are going to use conditional formatting for data bars. So we're going to come up here to conditional formatting. We want data bars, gradient fill, blue data bar. Just so we can get an, an eye glance in which values are the highest or the lowest. She also wants us to highlight the items that need to be reordered. So in I5 to I15, we're going to use the highlight cells rules of the conditional formatting. So we're going to come up here to conditional formatting, highlight cell rules. We want them to contain a value equal to reorder. So we want equal to, and we want this to say reorder. In light red fill with dark red text. So we just want it to stand out. In G16, we want a formula that uses the average. So we're going to come up here to Auto Sum, click Average, make sure it's selecting range G5 to G15, enter that. In G17, we want the minimum, so we're going to come back up here to the Auto Sum and choose Minimum. This time, we just need to make sure that it only goes to G15, so we're going to have G5 to G15, and enter that. And then we want our maximum cost. We're going to come back up here to the auto sum, select max, and again change our range from G5 to G15. We want to check the spelling. So we're going to come up here to the review tab. And we can check the spelling. And because my active cell is here in G18, it wants to know if they want to go, if I want them to check from the beginning of the sheet. I'm going to say yes. Radiator is not spelled right, so we're going to change. And we're good to go. Last thing we want to do is we want to change the tab color of the inventory list. So we're come down here to inventory list and right click on it and go to tab color and make that blue gray accent three. To match the color of the bin list work tab. So again, that's everything we want to save it. We can compare our worksheets to the pictures in our assignment instructions. Once we're satisfied with it, we're going to close this. We're going to come back to our assignment in Blackboard. Click Continue. We're going to upload the X192A. So here's X19-2A. And we're going to say open. Got my green check mark. I'm going to submit. I'm going to view my report. Click down here to open it up. And let's see how well we did. And it says we got 93 out of 100. So let's look here and see what I missed. Bin list cells range A1 to C13 should be formatted 
I got the wrong border color. So what I can do is I can come back. I can open up that file again, make that change to where I get the right border color, and then resubmit it to earn those seven points. I guess that wasn't seven points. The other thing is the accounting number. So I missed the number format in the inventory list worksheet. G5 to H15 should be formatted using the accounting number format. So I'm going to make those changes, go back in and resubmit it. If I still get the same stuff, then I'm going to let my instructor know so my instructor can go in and look at it. But if you make those two changes, to the worksheet, you should be able to resubmit it and increase that score to 100 out of 100.